enjoy this short from Sarah, Aaron, Rachel, and Bree in the Lutheran Ladies Lounge. So what's next, we need, Rachel? We need to pick a new book. And yeah, often new. I will give you guys like choices of genres mm-hmm. and book types and actual books and, you know, put the power in your hands. Mm-hmm. But I seem to recall action. last time we picked a book, you all like ganged up on me yeah. and <laughs> told me we're reading this book. And thank you for that. Good job. Uh, it was a great book. Perfect choice. Yes. Um, but I feel like some retribution is in order. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> all so right. this time I'm taking all the power in my hands and I'm just going to tell you what we're reading. And I don't think you'll hate it. I really don't. A little backstory first. A year or two ago, I was approached by Dr. Paul Grimm up at Concordia Theological Seminary to provide an advanced comment, endorsement, a blurb. I don't know what happened to it. I did send it in. But a a blurb (laughs) for a book that was being published by Concordia Theological Seminary Press called Bright Valley of Love by Edna Hong. And at first I was like, oh, this is a lot of work for nothing, you know, to read a book and craft a comment on it. But I picked up the book and I read the first chapter and then I read the second chapter and then I read all the chapters. And it's a really good book. This book originated in, it was originally published in 1976. Hmm. It is a true story, although it is, it has been, I think, lightly fictionalized because of course it's not a direct transcript of everything that happened so Mm -hmm. based on a true story of a handicapped child who found a haven of love in nazi germany Hmm. because of course we all know nazi germany was not a great place for uh, people with disabilities so this is a really really warm wonderful book if you thought wonderfully made was a little challenging and had to read it slowly i don't think you'll find that with this one so it should be a nice we'll call it a lutheran ladies beach read mm-hmm. yes i love In it that it's a yes, it's a is. it's a lighter faster paced read i think some of my kids would probably enjoy it but it tells this wonderful story of faith about this special place a christian community for the physically and mentally impaired and what happened to it when the nazis came to power through the perspective of a neglected child named Gunter, who grows up in the community. Yes. So, does that sound okay? Yes. I love it. love me? Nice little palate cleanser after Mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. (laughs) And yet, we still have, we still have faith, we still have Christ, and we still have life issues. So, we're not going that far away. Nope. Because there's a lot, I think, in Wonderfully Made that will inform the way we read Bright Valley of Love. Interesting. Yeah. Love it. So that'll be our book for next time. I promise I'll put some more power back in your hands at some point in the future. Unless unless it goes to my head. Maybe. Yeah. So anyway, our book is Bright Valley of Love by Edna Hong. Originally released 1976, but republished in 2021 from Concordia Theological Seminary Press. And it is available, you'll be glad to hear, in paperback, Kindle, and audiobook. All of the ones. Yes! yes. All of the ones. So I don't know if you'll be able to find it in Hoopla, but Sarah, I'm sure if anyone can, you can. <laughs> you know, I haven't I haven't looked yet. Okay. Audiobook. I'm going to go look really quick. That is going to be a not available, at least for me. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. Not in Hoopla, but definitely it is a very listenable audiobook. Huh. Yes. Very great. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm super okay. excited. Okay. Great. I cannot wait. I'm excited about this one. I was excited about the last one. I am glad that there are enough books to be excited about that we can keep doing this. Yes. yes. Very exciting. All right. So our next book club book, Bright Valley of Love by Edna Hong, available in formats that will suit your reading style. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. And uh, um, Rachel, you'll post the event for this in our Facebook group. If you're new to book club, we do this in the Facebook group. It is asynchronous, which means we don't have to be all together all at one time. Makes it a little bit easier to do it online. So there will be an event in our Facebook group, Lutheran Ladies Lounge. We'll even pin it to the top of the group so mm-hmm. you can easily find it. All of the discussion will happen in that event. So it kind of stays all in one place. And that'll be September 9th. 
we will be dropping the episode. La la. Episode. So a week before. Think first week of September. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, this, will. this will be a great Labor Day read. Or last week of August. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. My kids go back to school. Right. End of August. Have okay. the book read, and yeah. we will talk about it, and there will be good things um, to say. Right. There we go. So you can join our group on Facebook for book club and also all things Lutheran Ladies Lounge. Tons of great discussion. There's just so much that happens in that group. So find us there on Facebook, Lutheran Ladies Lounge. You can also follow us on Instagram at Lutheran Ladies Lounge. If you aren't on social media and you still want to be involved in the Ladies Lounge, you can join our e-newsletter. It goes out about once a month. You can find out how to do that in the show notes for this episode, or you can send an email to lutheranladies at kfuo.org. You can find all of our episodes at kfuo.org slash lutheranladieslounge, or on the KFUO radio app, or on your favorite podcasting app. You're listening to the Lutheran Ladies Lounge podcast. I'm Sarah. I'm Erin. I'm really trying to overcome the temptation to say a word that rhymes with schmecks <laughs> instead of my usual witty quip. Mm. <laughs> And I'm backing slowly away. (laughs) From the time of Moses, 3,500 years ago, the church has been adorning her sacred spaces at the instruction of the Lord. Ad Crucem seeks to continue this tradition to the best of our ability as we create beautiful things to point us to Christ crucified for sinners. See our posters, greeting cards, artwork and banners, each proclaiming the good work that our Lord has done for us. Visit adcrucem.com. That's A-D-C-R-U-C-E-M dot com. Views and opinions expressed on the Lutheran Ladies' Lounge podcast may not represent the official position of the management or ownership of KFUO Radio, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. The Lutheran Ladies' Lounge is produced by KFUO Radio and available at kfuo.org or wherever you get your podcasts. Join our community on Facebook in the Lutheran Ladies' Lounge.